Hi, my name is Will Gardella. I'm a product manager at Couchbase, and I'm going to talk about Integrated Full Text Search in Couchbase, or FTS for short. We've just released a developer preview of FTS in Couchbase Server 4.5. If you're new here, Couchbase Server is a distributed NoSQL database that's agile, fast, and elastic. Couchbase makes it easier and faster for developers to build applications using the power of SQL with the flexibility of JSON. Couchbase Full Text Search is powered by Blevy, which is the most popular full text search and indexing library for Go, written in Go. The name Blevy is an acronym of Boiling Liquid Expanding Vapor Explosion. Basically, it's just a cool sounding name. Now, Couchbase users love searching their Couchbase documents with Elasticsearch and Solar, and that will continue to be true even after FTS graduates from Developer Preview because those are good systems with advanced features and they're very mature. But separate systems to manage can be a hassle. You have to provision and install additional systems. You have to integrate the systems and set up data transfer. Your team needs to learn both systems. You need to manage them both. And you have two systems to troubleshoot if something goes wrong. So FTS aims to be the easy button for simple use cases. FTS gives you the basic search capabilities with the click of a checkbox. Those capabilities are common to every search system. Inverted indexes, language awareness, and scoring. I'm going to quickly explain these concepts and then I'll tell you what you need to know to build and query your own indexes. An inverted index is simply a list of every term in your documents, followed by a list of documents where it was found. Later, when a query passes in some terms, the system can quickly return a list of the relevant documents. Scoring, or ranking, solves the problem of figuring out which matches are the most relevant to a query. Even in a small set of documents, you can get a lot of results for a given search, and a human only has so much time to look. Finally, language awareness comes from language-specific transformations on the input text, such as stemming. For example, the English words beauty and beautiful stem to the same thing, beauty with an I. By running the same stemmer on both the input document and the search query, the search magically finds the relevant document with the same meaning, even though the original strings are different. Now let's get practical. Before you can search, you have to create an index. The process of telling Couchbase how to index your documents is called index mapping. I'm going to focus on how to specify which parts of the JSON docs you want to index. I'll show some further details in the demo. Remember, with full text, if it isn't in your index, you just can't find it. Full text queries aren't like database queries, where indexes are nice to have performance enhancements. There is no such thing as a full text table scan. Step one in index mapping is to create a type mapping. If your documents are of type brewery, you can create an index mapping for brewery. There's also a special type default that indexes any docs you haven't created an explicit type mapping for or that don't have a type field. Then you describe how you want the fields in your brewery mapped. A field is a name value pair in JSON where the value is a simple type, a string, boolean, or number. So name, random number, and editable in this example are all mapped as fields. If the value of a name value pair is an object, use a child mapping and then specify the fields like in the previous step. So create a child mapping for geo, and then under that, field mappings for accuracy, lat, and long. If you know your JSON, you're probably asking yourself, dude, what about arrays? For an array of simple types, you use a field mapping like this array of strings. For an array of objects, you use a child mapping and then create fields for letter. In other words, you just map it like the array isn't even there and FTS works. You can also create index aliases which point to indexes. You point your app at the index alias and then you can swap out the indexes behind the scenes without interruption whenever you want. This is helpful because improving indexes usually involves lots of tuning and iterations. You have a wide variety of queries that you can do on your full text index data once you have it, including match and match phrase, the most common ones, as well as more specialized searches like fuzzy search, range search, and many more than I can cover in 15 seconds. Query string queries are a special syntax that lets users enter different types of queries into a single search box and distinguish them with special characters. It's pretty familiar and includes things like plus or minus for required or excluded terms. This is what you get in the search box in the Couchbase admin console. So, it's in developer preview right now. 
there are some limitations you should know. Don't use it for production. The APIs may change as might other things. The GA data is not announced or guaranteed. The performance is not final and it's limited to a single node in a cluster right now. Take it for a spin though and let us know what you think. Thanks for going along on this lightning tour and I hope you check out the demo that goes along with this. I also want you to invite you to try out the developer preview and let, you, let us know what you think. You can get a hold of us on the forums or at Will Gardella on Twitter.